sustainable farming, agroecology is the way to go. For us as a school, the agroecology club feels like the beginning for the new future. This is the movement to protect our environment. The agroecology clubs are really helping. Now we have access to agroecology information. Agroecology clubs are platforms where students, pupils in learning institutions, primary and secondary schools get and share information and knowledge on agroecological farming practices and principles. Agroecology clubs aim to create an appreciation of agroecology by the young generation as an avenue for achieving sustainable food systems for the current and future generations. You have to use natural methods to carry out to various agricultural activities, whether in animal rearing, whether in crop planting, whether in planting trees and so on. This rich knowledge about to uh, agroecology clubs in schools was introduced to us by SF Uganda. Uh, the agroecology club uh, we started in 2019 during the, the National Organic Week. Uh, during that process we started with four schools. Then we, we had uh, uh, debates on organic practices. That is when we realized that there is need to start uh, agroecology clubs in school because uh, during that debate we realized that when pupils or students uh, get the agroecology knowledge they can go ahead and uh, uh, share with other members in the community as well as sharing with other pupils in school. The team came from there and shared with the school administration about to it and the school at large thought it wise to see that we embrace agroecology clubs in our school so that students can be taught about good farming practices which are nothing but farming practices by nature. Uh, we have uh, agroecology clubs in Renzori sub-region. We have two in Kasese. And then in uh, uh, West Nile, we have in Ajumane. Uh, in Acholi sub-region, we have in Gulu and we have in Amuro. Then in Lango, we have in, uh, in Apache, uh, Apache district. Then uh, in the central, we have in uh, Mitiana district. And uh, in uh, uh, Busoka sub-region, we have in uh, Kamuli. Then in uh, Bugisho, we have in uh, Mbale district. So those are uh, the regions that we have the agroecology clubs in. Agroecology clubs are important because they always teach us how we can move, how we can live smoothly and interactive with our organism. In terms of practices, we have uh, the agroecology gardens that are in schools. So here, yeah, members come together, members of the agroecology club, they come together then they share the knowledge on the different practices on agroecology. Some of the activities we do in our agroecology clubs are making of decomposed manure from, pl from plant residues, chicken droppings, cassava peelings, and also practicing agro agroforestry in our school garden. And as you see this garden, this is our garden where we have planted many species. For example, we have avocados, mango trees. This garden also helps us with the practical information on agroecology. One of the principal of agricultural clubs is diversity. So, having known that when the team visited us from uh, SF Uganda and uh, gave us some uh, funds, we decided to take on, on uh, other projects such as pigal and, and, pigal and poultry, yeah, keeping, so that we can diversify on our club activities. Yeah, so, but now we are taking on pigger and poultry alongside uh, agroforestry and intercropping. 
uh, this is the place where we, we collect our manure from and this is the pit where we put them, we rest them from here after we collect them we put them under our crops to make them green. Uh, some of them are here. We have home cassava. We have cassava droppings, uh, chicken droppings, and banana peelings. We raise them here to, in order to decay. For and after decaying, we bring them back and put them in our crops to make them green. Uh, the, the agriculture clubs is important uh, to us because it helps on trans transitioning the knowledge of agroecology uh, to the wider uh, reach. When, we, when the students start to know about agroecology when they are still young, the pupils, the members, they start to know about it when they are still young, they go on when they are growing to practice it and then they will basically be the ones that are to... to take it to other people. SF Uganda, thanks for introducing this information to our school so that we can live in unity with our crops and the environment.